had them a 4-2 victory there over Dalton after being 2-1 down. You must be uh, delighted with the spirit there to fight back. Yeah, I'm 1-0 one, I'm one down as well. And deservedly 1-0 down. Um, because I thought for as good as they were, um, we were too passive. And uh, we were given a lifeline. Uh, error by their goalkeeper. But Dave Sayers has hunted it down and we've capitalised on it. And... And then we obviously changed shape and I felt we were better then. Um, we competed a hell of a lot better. We asked more questions of the centre-halves. We had a bit of support around Jimmy, which, which we didn't have in that first 15 minutes. He was too isolated and it's an impossible task for him. Um, you know, and then we, we obviously, you know, second half, we, we felt that we could cause them problems from set players and through getting it up, up to the strikers quickly. Um, but the referee, I think, I can see why he's given the penalty. My, my disappointment was, was it was the ball has gone about 20 yards away from the lad. He's, he's got to the ball first, he's, but it's, he's never going to get to it. I think it was soft, but I can see why he's given it. Um, you know, and, and, and I felt then, probably for the next 15 minutes or so, we, we lost our way, we lost our shape, we got ragged about a little bit. They had a couple of good opportunities that they should have probably finished the game off, but... We saw it for ourselves on Monday night. You know, when you're on top and you've got teams on the ropes, you've you've got to you've got to capitalise on that. And and they ultimately they didn't. And um, probably our best bit of play of the second half to that point, Jimmy. You know, we've got Jimmy in, um, and he's it's a great finish. Um, and you saw our confidence go. The crowd went quiet, and um, obviously the the third ones. You know, there's a bit of fortune there again with the goalkeeper. He should have done better, but. Again, Dave Sayers is there to capitalise on it, and and then we've wrapped it up there with uh, with the fourth at the end, and um, I'm, I'm delighted for the players really because it's been a it's been a, a very hard week this week. Um, obviously losing to Hereford, um, second goals offside it was a bit of a blow. Losing on Monday the way that we did so late on, having played so well certainly in the first half, and then we've we've lost Jack Higgins now for a long period of time with his shoulder. Um, Danny Ellis has pulled up with his hamstring we've tried to get Isaac Baldwin back from Whitton but there's been an admin error so we've not been able to get him back and we were very patched up there today certainly at the back um, throwing young Dylan in who's he's played for us in the County Cup that's it he's been playing at Frickley Osset United you know with, with the greatest respect to, to the clubs at them levels playing against Darlington and, and the, the players that they've got here in front of a, a reasonable crowd it's, it's a completely different kettle of fish uh, and I thought he after a first tricky 20 minutes I thought he settled down um, dropping Chris Atkinson back into centre half you know just got on with it did a job and um, ultimately it was all hands to the pump and I'm, and I'm so pleased for the, for the players and you mentioned a couple of mistakes at the back led to a couple of our goals and at the other end it was almost the opposite Josh made a number of vital saves especially in that 15 minute period you mentioned well, yeah, that's what he's here to do, though, isn't it? You know, he's he's had games where he's had very little to do, but today he was probably that's probably the busiest he's been since he's been here. I felt he had a few efforts in the first half that were from distance, and I'd expect a keeper of his quality to save them. Um, made a couple of really good ones, as you say, in, in that second half. But um, that's what we expect him to do for us. He's you know he's he's a top goalkeeper. He's been superb for us since he's been here. Not just the saves that he can make, but. Just his, his attitude and you know the way he's, he conducts himself. You can tell he's a professional. Um, you know his uh, his kicking, his distribution, getting you up the pitch. You know he, I thought he's been he's been tremendous. But it was it was a very it was a very good team performance today. Uh, yes, we rode our luck at times, but Darlington are a good side. They're a good side. They've got weaknesses, which is probably why the the mid table and not in the playoffs. Um, but certainly when they get full flow and they get the crowd up and they move the ball around they've got some excellent technicians very good offensive players and they cause problems for any team in the division but we can also cause problems we knew what the weaknesses were we've managed to exploit them and I'm incredibly pleased and being able to beat them twice in the season as well is impressive it is yeah you know we scored seven goals against them um, doesn't matter how you do it I think they've, they've probably gifted us quite a few of them seven but you know we, we've had a run of late where we haven't been scoring as many goals um, and it, it's just felt like every error that we've made, we've been punished and that's what this league's about and you know, I'm just really pleased today that 
we've had little bits of fortune because we haven't had a lot of luck of late and um, thankfully we've been able to capitalise on them. And how difficult is it now kind of not knowing when you might have played the last game for a significant period of time? Very difficult, very difficult. You know, it's, it's difficult for everybody. You know, it's um, obviously it's a very concerning situation. Um, I think really that the league, they just need to bring clarity for everybody because once, once you know where you are, well then you can put plans, procedures in place. Whilst you're left in limbo, and everything's a little bit up in the air, it's very difficult for for football clubs from top to bottom. You know, people will ring Josh and 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 ask him what's going on, and he doesn't really know. The players ask me and the staff, and we don't know. And obviously, there's a lot of uh, uncertainty about the whole situation, but. Um, until we get clarity, as I say, from the league on what we do going forward, then um, it's difficult to, to comment any more other than, you know, it was it was difficult today because it it did um, dominate the pre-match talk on the journey up here amongst the players. Um, you know, when will the season end and what will happen if they take a break? When will we, we play the fixtures? Will we play the fixtures? If the season ends now, is there any ups and downs? And... There's so many consequences. Obviously, that's not going to affect us because we're we're not going to go up and we're not going to go down. But it will um, it will impact immensely on every every non-league club for sure.